Hello everybody, I'm Scott Dragon, and welcome to, well, my first blueprint spotlight in a long time. Now, I think, sorry, let's go, let's go to the workshop and see what's there, and we'll pull something up. And the first thing I actually came across was a quite nice, large, atmospheric scout ship. So it's all in one, you can do every atmosphere, everything available, and it's made by Jura 7, and it's an NYX exploration ship. Now, I'll keep, I've had a flying around with it. Got some nice shots. I mean, it's quite a nice, very angular design with those uh, very pointed cockpit with uh, two nice seats in it. And then you've got two large thrusters right in the back and a jump drive. So, again, it can go anywhere. So, shall we? Uh, let's just do a little overlook of the outside. You've got ion engines, you've got atmospherics, you've got hydrogen, all the things you need for every variant. Again, I'm not a fan of a hydrogen. I would have did not put hydrogen in it, reason. Now, its weaponry is only small turrets. It was a little odd, I thought, and usually I'm thinking, but again, when I think about it, if you're trying to make a ship as small as humanly possible, small turrets make sense, because one, well, you can't have them piped up, but if that's not a problem, you can get outside and pipe them up yourself, yeah, they get a decent point defence against uh, asteroids, now you got these two chunky-ass uh, large uh, high, uh, atmospheric thrusters right stuck in the middle here, and the gyroscopes tucked in with them. The one jump drive right in the middle of the antenna, and I just kind of neatly bolted on. And lots of hydrogen thrusters at the back for good thrust, and this like cool, cool little tail thing going on here. But what really I liked about this ship was once, bar the this isn't the guy's fault, but come on, Keen, really, 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 expected better from me by now. Well, they're all into Christmas holiday, so I'll uh, have to move a little off that little turret underneath. Kind of offset to one side because you've got the landing ramp. Now, hmm, I'm not a fan of this system. I'm going to be honest, I'll be brutally honest. You've, you've got the wheels. Problem with this is, I've now spawned this in three times, and two out of three times as I've tried to land it, it's just crumpled. And bang, boom, got dents in the ground, and the wheels are fun flying off into the distance. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just not my thing. But, one is to his own. Interior. Well, there's not a lot to the interior. You know, you have the med bay, you have a cryobot bay where you would kind of have the... But you've got tons of screens telling you all the diagnostics, or what you've actually got, coordinates. I like this. That tells you the percentage of hydrogen. I like that. That's brilliant. Especially for a ship where you're going, oh, ship, running alone hydrogen. Uh, if I jump into that, but if I power it off, offline. I, I know it's not something new, but I've seen it a thousand times, but it still makes me laugh. It makes me happy. And then we've got... I've seen this is maybe the pilot seat, and that's... First office? I don't know. Two-man crew, really, because it's the best. I don't know, maybe... Get yeah, around on these monitors, but cheer in. We've got cheer in here. Oh, I don't know. It's just... Two people seems an awful small, like, scout crew, but that's just me. Maybe the third person stays in the cryopod. But, let's uh, get in here and give it a fly. Okay, you have a nice fuel view from up here, so let's uh, take it off. And, in survival mode, I don't know how well this fly, but in creative, it flies really well in hydrogen. I don't know if there's, let's see, I'm going to turn, uh, let's turn some fly stars off. So, six, and, uh, there's hydrogens off. And you see, with hydrogen's off, it is a brick. That's it. If hydrogen's off, I don't move. I'm moving so slowly if hydrogen's off. So, you do, you are relying very heavily on the hydrogens for forward propulsion. Let's uh, switch them back on. Was it uh, six? Yeah, and away! Yeah, completely different ship when it's on hydrogen. Uh, but if you're on an atmosphere planet, lots of ice. So that's you know an atmosphere. You know, not bad. You know, at least uh, if you run up hydrogen, you're stuck on atmospheric thrusters only. The two large down ones there will give you 
more than enough left for this ship, especially the ship's actually got quite a lot of stuff in it. It's got two hydrogen tanks, two oxygen tanks, two refineries, I think it's got two assemblers as well. So it's actually got quite a lot of interiors and there's a lot of stuff there to start a base up with. You know, you could use this to scout out a planet and go, oh look, tons of resources. One thing I have noticed, I don't, let me just check this, okay, and what was it? Detector. detector. No, no detector. I have an oversight. Nope, I don't see an ore detector anywhere in there. Maybe I'm missing it. I know ore detector on an on a, on an exploration ship's a bit of a bit of a done goof. You could easily put an, uh, put one of these on. I would say. So let's uh. Let's just uh, cut here and we'll go straight to the uh, into the ah, got him stuck against the wall. Don't jump up when moving here. <coughs> well, let's uh, jump this straight into space. So now we're in space. Uh, again, there's only one flock and landing gears aren't the problem in space. There is no gravity generator. So all you are stuck onto is uh, oh god. Grab boots when they decide to work. There we go. So that's not a problem per se. Getting in is a bit of a. If you're easily motion sick, God help you. Oh God. Ah! Again, I don't think an atmospheric gener uh, drive generator would have been that much to ask for. You, know, I'm sure, taking a block out of somewhere and just sticking it on, even if it was just stuck on the bloody roof, would have been prepared a bit more better for this. Because it's just a bit, oh god, oh god, bleh, my helmet. But, what was what I expect? It's a small ship, it's got, it has to have some limitations. It's only got a assembler and a refinery, it's got two hydrogen tanks. Uh, it's got the same flaw, I would say, in space as it has in the atmosphere. Uh, if you have no hydrogen, it uh, gets a little bit sluggish. But again, a little bit more forgiving in atmosphere because you do, and uh, a little bit more forgiving than it is in atmosphere because you don't have gravity pulling you down. But that, again, that's fine. Ah, oh god. No oh god, don't, don't, no, 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 no blind jumpy. It does have a jump drive, so I can just blind jump somewhere else. Let's see the particle effects. Oh god, they're facing the wrong direction. We're screwing it up. Immersion is broken! And... We're not quite far away. And it's going to take bloody forever to recharge, because I think... Oh god, it's going to take me forever to get home. Ah, well. Again, this it's a small exploration ship, so it's, I don't think you could get much more into this. Especially if you wanted to have uh, the two hydrogen tanks and the two large atmospheric thrusters, because they are probably the biggest of all the ship. You know, that takes up a good chunk of it. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys go and have a look at this uh, blueprint on the workshop it's in the front page right now. And uh, yeah, I'm Sos Dragon, and I'll see you later. And I'm hoping to go do a lot more of these blueprint spotlights. So, bye!